All right, today we're changing the transfer case fluid on this Jeep YJ. I'm on the driver's side and back here underneath the skid plate. There's your transfer case right there. You want to change the fluid about every 30,000 miles or two years, whichever comes first. That's according to the manufacturer recommendation. This transfer case is stamped. Uh, it has an NP on it. And then that red tag there says 231J. So we've got our drain plug right here. We're going to take that off here in a minute. And our fill plug. What we want to do is we want to remove the fill plug first before we take off the drain plug. And the reason is you don't ever want to take the drain plug out, drain your fluid, and then have some type of problem, this, you know, being seized or something, and then you can't refill it then you are stuck and you have a Jeep you cannot drive. So we're going to take this off first, make sure that comes off nice, and then we're going to go ahead and drain it. All right, these uh, drain plugs take a 30 millimeter socket. So we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, fill plug right now. Now we're going to remove the drain plug. And yes, the skid plate here is in the way a bit, but you don't want to take that off. Taking the skid plate off is a real bear. Um, it can give you a lot of problems. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, so some of the fluid is going to drain out here. It's going to shoot out nicely into our my drain pan here. Some of it's going to kind of come out this hole in the bottom there. And it's easiest just to take a few paper towels, wipe it up when you're all done. Because um, as I said, taking this off is can give you a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and remove that drain plug. There we go. So let that drain for a bit. And we'll get ready to uh, add our new fluid. To replace the drain plug here, these you want to torque to 20 foot pounds. Uh, you don't want to over torque them because this is actually a soft metal, aluminum and you can strip it out, so be careful with that, just 20 foot-pounds. Alright, now we're going to fill the transfer case back up with, uh, it takes about three pints, or about a bottle and a half, of this uh, ATF plus four, and you have to make sure that it's compatible with this type 9602. That's what it calls for for this uh, NP231 transfer case. And to get the fluid up into that fill hole, we're going to have to use a little pump to get it up there. There, now you can see it's tripping out there pretty good, so I think we're full. So we're going to uh, replace the uh, fill plug here, and we're all set. Alright, so now we're just going to kind of clean up a bit, and then that's it for changing the transfer case fluid on a Jeep YJ. Thanks for watching, and check out some of my other Jeep Solid videos. Have a good day.